Um, okay, a couple of uh, shortcut hints and ways of doing things um, that, uh, again, will aid this fluency I've been talking about and hopefully help you to become quicker at doing things in, in Max MSP. So, um, <coughs> make that a bit bigger. Um, if you want to make particular objects, I was talking about the uh, the most commonly used ones um, in the last tutorial. Uh, so there are keyboard shortcuts for uh, um, for making certain objects, um, and they are um, if you press N. Hang on, why hasn't that happened? Why hasn't that happened? Oh, that's why. Idiot. I haven't unlocked the patch. Sorry. Um, yeah, try again. So, N gives you a new object, and you can then just write that in. So, we'll put in uh, select 1. Okay. Um, M will give you a message box. B will give you a button. T will give you a toggle. And I will give you an integer box. And F will give you a float box. Oh yeah, and uh, C will give you a comment box. Um, okay, so with the comment boxes, you know, you don't really see the uh, the the outline. You just see the comment itself, which you just put in there, and you can't interact with it in any way. Um, <coughs> so that that makes things quite a lot quicker in terms of making objects. Um, uh, since I'm locked and I need to unlock. Um, you can, as you saw and you have seen, you can click on unlock to unlock the patch and lock again to lock it. That becomes a bit laborious, so there are shortcuts for doing that. You can either press Command E, which again on uh, PC will probably be Control E, so you can toggle between just by using Command E. And you can also uh, double click if you press uh, Command, double click on anywhere in the white space on your patch. Oh, actually, you only need to want a, a single click it. So I do it so often that I forget exactly what I have to do. Um, yeah, so click it once and it unlocks it. Click it again, and it locks it. But you have to have the command key down when you do that. Okay, so again, a couple of quick ways of doing that. Um, when you want to delete objects, um, obviously you can. Let's uh, unlock the patch again. Um, you can. Uh, obviously click on them and delete them. If you want to delete several at a time you click and drag a loop so that you loop a variety of objects then you delete them. Um, to delete uh, connections between objects you can do that independently so you can click on the uh, line between them and uh, it highlights and you can um, delete that. I'm just going to undo that for a minute. Um, and if you want to <coughs> Um, if you want to choose a, a number of objects at the same time, then you know, as you would expect for you know word processing applications and other things like that, if you shift um, click anything, then you can select a several independent objects. Um, the slight oddity when it comes to deleting multiple connections between objects, you have to press Alt and then click and drag to uh, encompass all of the lines that you want to uh, delete. Um, if you try and do it without doing that, okay, so this is without Alt clicked or held down, um, then it doesn't, it doesn't select anything. So you have to press Alt and then um, select all of those. Uh, what else? Um, uh, something which we'll come back to later, which I don't really need to tell you now, but I will do anyway, is the Align command. Um, and that allows you to align objects either horizontally or vertically. And what it does, um, so if I, I, I select a variety of objects and um, <clears throat> here's another quick key, although you can find the align key in the uh, range menu. So there's align and you can see, whoops, um, command Y will enable you to do that using a shortcut. So command Y and, well, you don't see it move very much, but in fact that has aligned those horizontally. So if I were to move them a little bit more, uh, higgledy piggledy and then try that again you'd see that happen so that's quite a useful thing to do um, if you have things 
aligned in a generally vertical or horizontal direction it will choose between horizontal and, and vertical I'm not sure that really um, is very well explained but if I have if I have things predominantly in a vertical kind of um, arrangement then it will arrange them vertically <coughs> there you are you see it depends how 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 close they are to being horizontal and how close they are to being vertical Oops. Uh, let's try again there you go <laughs> so I only need to move one thing so it, it, it makes a decision um, as to uh, whether things are aligned predominantly vertically or predominantly horizontally and when you click the align or when you um, invoke the align command it will uh, it will align them um, to whichever it thinks is, is the one you meant um, what else? Oh yes, copying. Uh, well, <coughs> again, in the opening tutorial done by the Max people, um, it shows you how to use copy and paste. Well, you can do that, so I can click on that and I can copy. So Command C on a Mac, obviously Control C on a PC. Um, and then if I press Control V or Command V, um, it will um, paste it. And if I did it again, it would continue to uh, to paste new versions of, of that. So that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it, which is actually quicker, is to press Alt and then drag. Um, and you can do that for, you know, uh, so you could select a variety of objects and just um, press Alt and drag them and that copies them all. Um, and a duplicate is another quite useful one. So uh, it, it's not really going to be relevant to you now, but for example, if I wanted, I'm going to get rid of this for the time being, and that one, and that, and that. If I want, if I had some reason, I can't imagine why I would, but if I had some particular reason for having several of this kind of configuration in a row on the screen, um, then uh, if I select the whole thing and copy it once, so click it and bring it along so that it's pretty much aligned, That'll do. Um, and then press Command D, which is duplicate again. That will be found, I think, in the edit menu. There you go, duplicate. So if I do that, then it remembers the spacing that you made between the copied and the original, um, and it will place additional versions of equivalent spacing. Um, so that again is quite a useful thing to know. Um, I think that's probably uh, all I want to show for the time being. That's actually. Um, that this this brings you to kind of power user status, but in fact, again, developing that kind of easy use of of the the interface, and that might help. And obviously, you can come back to this when you feel more comfortable with the program. And there may be some reminders here that are useful to you. Okay.